Bismillahirrahman Rahim. This is another video on transfer function and here we'll be discussing example 16.9 and we'll solve practice problem 16.9. So example 16.9 this is the circuit and we have to find these four parameters. The first one is the transfer function HS which is V out over V in. Now this is V out and this is Vn. Then we have to find the impulse response and then we have to find two more outputs when there are two different inputs. So let's proceed. The first part is transfer function. Now if we just redraw this circuit like this then we can clearly see that this arm and this, the, these two are in parallel. So we can solve them first of all in parallel to find a voltage here. We'll call this voltage VAB. Okay, so first Z parallel, this is Z parallel or ZAB, which is one parallel S plus one, one parallel S plus one. And solving, we get this answer. So we write it here. And now to find this voltage, all we need to do is voltage dVn. So VAB is total voltage divided by total impedance, 1 plus this, and multiplied by this impedance. And slight manipulation solving, finally we get to this value. Now this is VAB in terms of VI. Now once we know VAB, we can find V out because ultimately we need to find V out. And that can be found by VAB divided by this whole and multiplied by 1. So V out is VAB divided by S plus 1, S plus 1 and multiplied by 1. And again, now putting the value of VAB from here and solving, we get this term. Now from here, you can see that we can just move VI to the left hand side. So it will be V out over VI, which is our HS. So we can say that HS is V out over VI is equal to 1 divided by 2S plus 3. So this is 1 divided by 2S plus 3. So this is the part A of the question. Now we need to find impulse response. Impulse response is the time domain representation of HS. And this is very simple. All we need to do is write this in the form of S plus A to use this relation. S plus A, so to get S plus A, we take two commons from here. So taking two common, now it is in form of S plus A. So we further written as half and one of this. Now here we are applying this formula. So in time domain or the impulse response ST will be this half. And from here we are getting E raised to the power minus 3 by 2T UT. So this is second part. Now we come to the third part. We have to find the response when V i is U T. Now response means the output. That is V out. And we again use this formula. From here we can see that V out will be H S into V i. First of all, we, we have to convert this V i into S domain. So VIT UT in S domain will become 1 over S. HS we already know from here, so we can apply or put in this formula. So V out is HS VIS, putting the value HS and VIS, and solving, we get it into this form. Now here again, you can see that this is, uh, this has two, uh, factors in the denominator, so we'll have to take help of uh, partial fraction. 
so that we can go into the time domain. Okay, further simplifying, I'm writing it like this. Now you can easily see that we have to use partial fraction. So this is how we write it in partial fraction. And then by the residue method, we can find value of A, which is S time V O S and S time this will S S cancel. So this is left and we put the limit S is equal to zero. So the answer is one over three. And exactly same way for B, we multiply by the denominator of the B. S V S we get 0 0.5 S and the limit in this case will be S plus three is equal to zero means S is equal to minus three by two. So put that value so this is another answer for uh, the part, part B. Now putting in the values of A and B in this equation and simplifying we get this term. And now you can see easily we can implement the uh, uh, time domain version of this from the formula. So we can say that the inverse Laplace transform of this that is V O T will be 1 over 3 and 1 over S is actually U T so we write 1 and U T outside and similarly this one will be minus e raised to the power minus 3 T over 2. So this is third part and now we come to the fourth part here the input is now 8 cos 2 T uh, and we have to find output so we just follow the same technique output will be written like this we convert this into s domain first of all by using this formula so vit 8 cos t in s domain will be 8 s divided by s square plus 4 we are using this formula and so v out now we can find by putting these two values hs we had already found and VIS we have found from here. Putting this, simplifying. Now you can see that we have two factors. This is simple factor, but this factor has a square in it. So the partial fraction will be slightly different. So A divided by this part. But because of the square, this will be BS plus C divided by S square plus 4. I hope you have already learned this technique uh, while using the partial fraction question. And now from here we can again find A directly by the residue method, multiplying by the denominator and putting the value. This is A, but for B and C we have to use another technique and that is called the algebraic method. In algebraic method, what we do, we multiply this equation by the denominator. So when multiplied by the denominator, this will be 4s, and this, these two will also be modified accordingly. So this is the equation that we need to solve. And the technique here is to use uh, what is called the equating coefficient. So first of all, we equating coefficients of constant. Now here there is no constant, so it will be 0. Here the constant is 4a, so we are writing 4a. In this case, no constant, we will go terms as s. Here this is without s, so this is constant. So 3 by 2c, and from here, C can be written in this form. The next is equating the constant coefficients of S. So here we'll get 4. From here we can get this coefficient 3 by 2B and from here we get C. So this is second equation. And next is to equate the coefficient of S square. So 0 on the left, A from here and B from here again b can be written as minus a. Now the solving these three equations we can find the value of a, b and c. 
just for your information i have done a little bit so you can follow it now from equation one this was c and uh, from here you can see that b is minus one so if we replace a uh, minus a with b then it will be eight over three b and putting in equation two now the value of b we can find which is 24 over 25 and now putting this value here we can find c and once we know c we can find a so these three values you will obtain if you solve them and now this was our equation so we'll put the values of a b and c so putting the value of a b and c we get this equation we'll try to now go into the time domain and for that we'll take help of this formula if it is omega divided by s square plus omega square so like here s uh, sorry uh, this one omega divided by s square plus omega square so this will be sine terms and when s divided by s square omega square which is here so this will be cosine term so taking the inverse and taking 24 over 25 common from all of them the time domain answer will be this from the first part this is from the second part and this is from the third part so i hope you have been able to follow this and now the next question or the practice problem is exactly same if you have understood this there should be no problem solving so let's quickly go over it. So the practice problem is saying that the rework example 16.9 for this new circuit here. So that means actually it is exactly 16.9 except that instead of this circuit we will be using this circuit to find all these parameters. So our question becomes that we have to find these four parameters with this circuit. So we'll follow exactly the same technique as I mentioned. First of all, we'll find the uh, transfer function HS. And for that, we need to find relation between VI and V out. In this case, you can see these two are in parallel. So we'll draw the parallel circuit here. And one into one parallel, two over S solving, we get two divided by S plus two. And from here, now V0 can be calculated directly by the voltage deviant rule. So V0, total voltage divided by total impedance multiplied by this impedance. And solvent, we get uh, this form. And now from here, if we move this on the left hand side, we get HS. So HS will be VO, VI, 2 over S plus 4. So this is the answer for the first part. And now second part is the impulse response of this answer. So that is also very easy, simple formula. We'll use this formula. So impulse response can be found. 2 e raised to the power minus 4 T U T. Third part is that we have to find the response that means the output when vit is ut same as the previous example same technique same value of vi s in s domain putting in the formula solving now you can see there are two factors so that means we uh, we can use power fraction a and b by the residue method, find the value of A, which will be half, and find the value of B, which will be minus half. Now putting these two values, VOS will be in this form, taking half common. Now we can take the inverse Laplace transform to go into the time domain. So V0T, that is the inverse Laplace transform, will be half, and this will be UT which is 1 into ut and this will be minus e raised to the power 40. So this is the third part. 
and now fourth part same input following same technique converting this into s domain using this formula v0 s multiplying with the hs which we had calculated this and now this is vis solving again since there is a square here so it will be bs plus c first one we can find from the residue method directly which is minus 16 over 5 and for the second method uh, a second part we have to use the algebraic method for so multiplying both sides by the denominator we get this equation and here also we will take the uh, recreate the terms for constant terms we get this value for s terms and for s square terms solving these three you should be getting these values for a b and c now putting in the equation this was the equation in terms of a b c uh, we put the value and we get this term and from here we take 16 over 5 common so this term and now we can easily apply the formula uh, this formula is for cosine this formula is for sine and this is directly e raised to the power minus t formula so the value in time domain will be 16 over 5 which can be written as 3.2 and from here minus e raised to the power 40 this will be cos 2t and this will be half sine 2t so I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know your comments. Thank you.